Now there are a lot of languages in the App Store that will help you translate languages and learn foreign languages. The one this video will concentrate on is called iTranslate. So open it up when you've downloaded it and select the languages that you wish to translate from and to. At the moment there's English and French highlighted. So to change the language you simply tap on it and pick a different one. So let's pick Italian and then just tap away and that's selected. At the moment it's going from English to Italian. If I wanted to go Italian to English, simply reverse it with that button there. So you can either paste text in or you can speak text. So let's start with speaking some text. So pressing the microphone button. Today is a lovely winter's day in Melbourne. And then tap done when you're finished. It pastes the text in and immediately translates that into Italian. Now you can hear the Italian spoken to you by tapping the sound icon. Oggi sono una lettera d'amore a Star. Now you can decide which voices you'd like to be spoken to. So if I tap that again, select voices. I've only got two choices, Italian male or Italian female. Let's change it to Italian male and listen again. Oggi sono una lettera d'amore a Star. And you can select the speed at which you want that spoken back to you. So an Italian male and I might go a bit faster. Tap play to test it. Oggi sono una lettera d'amore a stare. Move it towards the left to slow it down. Oggi sono una lettera d'amore a stare. And towards the right to, to make it quicker towards the hair. Now when uh, you're learning a language and you're listening to a language it's often easier to slow it down and listen to it. Now, if you want to practice reading your language and see if it can translate back into uh, English, we'll swap it over. So I'm going to delete what's there and read the same phrase in Italian, and my Italian's not that good, so we'll see if it actually can understand me when it translates back into English. So I tap the microphone to record. Oggi sono una lettera d'amore a stare a Melbourne. My Italian's not that good, obviously. I got some of it right, but if you if you're wanting to practice, this would be a good way to practice your pronunciation of a language. There are other ways to get text in, so delete that text, go into Safari, and I have a website here, an Italian reading website. So learning Italian here is a a, a um an article to practice your reading. I can highlight and select the text. I don't want to get it to speak to me, but I want to copy it. And then go back into iTranslate. And you can see here that I can just swipe to paste. Or I could just hold my finger down and tap paste, but I'll just swipe to paste. It puts the Italian in and immediately translates that into the English. And then I can hear it by tapping the icon here. I can hear it being read to me in Italian. Articolo 26. Ogni individuo ha diritto all'istruzione. So as it's being read, I can follow along the English on the right hand side. Again, as with the other side, I can select the speed that I want it to go. I want it to go maybe faster. Articolo 26. Move it to right, to the right to quicken that up. Now it also does phrases and vocab. So in uh, swap that over to English. If I wanted to know to how to define the words oh, a beautiful day, I can just put a phrase in and then tap the translate button to get an idea of what that would be. So then I could again hear it hear it spoken. And again, you have the same options with speeding up the voice or changing the uh, the voice. If you want to look at it in a different way, as soon as I opt out of that keyboard, it will change the view. And I can see my history. So if I've used other languages, I could then switch back to English to German and translate from English to German. Very easy to change the, the languages.
and use it as a way to teach yourself a foreign language. Now what you could also do once you've actually translated something you might want to email that. So there is a a send a share button of dictated some English text. It's been translated to Italian. Now by pressing that sharing button it will put it straight into an email and then I can email that off or insert more in the message. So you can do something with it or you could just copy it and put it into some other, other app by holding it down and selecting it all moving up to you get the lot and copy it I could put that into another app um, perhaps I wanted to write some notes so I open up note, Notability is one of the note taking apps create a new note and then holding down the finger I can paste all that Italian into another app and do something else with it iTranslate, one of the better apps for learning a foreign language.